Hi, my name is Alan Edwards, and in this video series, I'm going to show you how to make a mod for the Source SDK 2013 single player and multiplayer. Um, now, this tutorial is for people that want to make a series of maps or who want to uh, kind of code new entities and new functionality into the engine. Uh, well, not into the engine, into the the game, such as the you know Half Life 2 and Half Life 2 Episode 2. Um, if you just want to make a standalone map, uh, kind of a one-off thing. You might be using some custom materials, custom sounds. I'd recommend that you don't make a mod. I'd, re I'd recommend that you make a standalone map. Um, just for the simple reason that it's it's a lot easier to do. Um, so, without further ado, uh, the next video is about getting started, getting all the code checked out, and uh, just setting everything up. Um, I would like to mention that the slides for this are available on my website there. The URL is... Uh, slides.alanedwards.com slash source 2013. Uh, I'll put that on the video as well. So enjoy the next video.